exposing the most viral and clickbait Minecraft videos on the entire internet to prove how they're scamming us for views. Watch until the end to see how many creators we expose. I wish someone had shown me this earlier. What? Shown you that this is fake and clickbait? Okay, I shouldn't judge this yet. We haven't seen what's going on. So we've got a shulker box and we're putting all types of different ores in here. So we're digging up this shulker box here with a wooden pickaxe. And then what? Putting it inside a furnace? And then furnace in the shulker? Wait, what? You can't furnish shulkers in Minecraft. This is stupid. Oh, and then suddenly it just a bit... Are you kidding me? What exactly did this do? It furnished all the ores inside of it. I don't even know why I'm bothering to test this. I already know this is going to be fake, but since this is kind of my job and I owe it to all of you to show that it definitely does not work in vanilla Minecraft, we will give this a good old fair trial, but then it's going to be clickbait. And then I'll show you exactly how they scammed us, guys, and we'll expose them together. So basically, they filled this up with ores. We're going to switch into survival just like they did. Dig up our sugar box with our wooden pickaxe. Go ahead and put it inside our furnace and our wooden pickaxe and... Yep, absolutely nothing is happening. You cannot smelt any type of shock box. It doesn't matter what fuel I use. So let's go ahead and expose this creator. So to scam us innocent viewers into giving them free views, they used command blocks as well as a data pack. That's right, guys. Sneaky, sneaky. They typed in data pack enable and uses file slash shulker smelt dot zip. You hit enter, we've enabled it. And now what they did, guys, is first off, they dug into the ground here two blocks. They placed this repeating, always active command block, which basically replaces the shulker inside the furnace with one that hauls all of those existing items, the emeralds, the gold ingots, the diamond, already smelted down. So that replaces that there. You can see the giant command in the chat real quick, guys, if you want to copy this down. Then they had this furnace above it, which already had an empty orange shulker box, which it switches out with our top one here, where we're going to put a another furnace on top of you guys and then we grab our orange shocker box which has all of our lovely items in it all of our ores we put that in we furnace it up with a pickaxe the first thing you notice is it's actually furnacing this time that's thanks to the data pack and then when it gets here thanks to the command it's going to switch it out full of our ores you can see there it's got diamond coal and everything and now we can open this up just like they did in the video open that up and boom magically all smelted except it's not magical it was just cheats and hacks completed out of clickbait and now they have been exposed ah oh, yes just placing down bedrock casually because you can do that in survival mode oh my are they building a bedrock portal this is so dumb guys why would microsoft ever add a bedrock portal this is obviously fake you can't get bedrock in survival they would never add this in the game i don't think i've ever even seen this in the change log and okay yeah and suddenly we appear in the bedrock dimension no not real that's a giant bedrock slab it could have been done with world edit or a video cut okay let's prove this is fake I mean, it literally takes anybody 10 seconds to prove that this is fake. I don't even know why I'm doing this in the video. You guys could all do this at home. But if we do this... Yeah, well, that was that was very disappointing. It's like the Aether portal all over again, guys. Childhoods are ruined. Now, let's expose this faker. Literally just one command block. This guy didn't even try to steal our views, guys. Basically, this command is super simple. It executes if block, and it's testing for fire inside where we expect the portal to be built with its coordinates. And then when it detects the fire, it just replaces the blocks inside the portal with nether portal. So if we go ahead and put that there, boom, we've got ourselves a nether portal. And then if we jump through here, we have a command block that teleports us straight to this bedrock dimension which in reality is actually just a giant bedrock fill in the sky that is super super high up and then our clouds are turned off so it looks like the bedrock dimension you notice that he didn't go very far in the video and that's because it's literally just a giant bedrock plane and he's turned down his render distance very very simple and honestly i really hope none of you guys fell for that this literally says that it's a modded client here guys what in the world i already know this is going to be fake so we've got an iron ingot and then you surround it in gold nuggets and it gives you a gold bar and then you can scam a piglins. Oh, yeah, yes. The piglins will believe that that is real gold. It's not even gold. It, you can't even craft that. If you think for two seconds that you're able to just casually craft gold by turning it into gold nuggets here, normally, guys, you would need nine gold nuggets to create one gold ingot. There's no way Mojang would add something where you just need one iron ingot and you can surround it in gold. As you can see, a non-existent crafting recipe, it's completely and utterly fake. Which means you aren't scamming any of these piglins, guys. They will not believe that this iron ingot is gold. Look at this. We'll give it him. Do you believe this is gold? Nah, 
No, he just does not care. So let's go ahead and figure out how they did this. Now, there's only two ways to add crafting recipes to the game. Mods and data packs. And it's most likely that they use data pack enable and turn on this fake gold data pack. And now when we go ahead and put down our crafting table, we can make ourselves those gold nuggets. And if we place them just around here and then our iron gets in the middle, Boom, you got yourself gold ingots. Basically, we modded in, we changed the code of the game to add in this crafting recipe so we can make the fake gold, just like so. And because the crafting recipe basically just replaces this here with actual gold, we should be able to give it to our piglins. Yep, too easy, guys. Not even difficult. How do these guys even get views? They're not even trying. Minecraft secret. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Hmm. I believe this totally. You cover up some water with pods all and put multiple different saplings. Blaze powder? Huh. What is that? What is that? An ore trick? A diamond trick? This is the most fake thing ever. What has my job even become, guys? Showing you things that are obviously fake. Look, I'm sure all of you know that this is not real. We'll go ahead and put our subjects down. Yeah, wow, wow, that was really anticlimactic there, guys. Oh my god, people believe this is real? I'll show you why this is real, because they use commands. So first off, they decided where they were going to go ahead and build their little tree thing, put the water down, put the pods all over the top. Then we had our jungle sapling, our birch sapling, our spruce sapling, and our oak sapling. And all they did was go ahead and chuck a command block off to the side that if you guys see here is basically testing for if there is water underneath this block and we put blaze powder above it, it's going to go ahead and output a redstone signal. We can put our comparator here and our command block there. And this one clones a location onto this area here. And you guys already guessed it, that location, if we jump underground, I've built this giant ore tree, an exact replica of the one in the video. And this command copies that tree from down here all the way up into the surface here. We grab our blaze powder, we throw it on here, and boom! You got yourself the quote-unquote ore tree. And you can see that that redstone signal is now active, and when we pick up that blaze powder, it's going to deactivate. And wow! Woo! Yeah, so real! Not? Bruh, these guys need to be unfollowed now. All right, what new clickbait do we got here? Chains? You can place chains on each other. You know, this might be the most real thing we've seen all video, guys. Okay, we're grabbing ourselves an oak fence. Yep. And another oak fence. What? Wait, did... Hold up. Wait. No. That looks like a lead, guys, but with the chain texture. This will take me all about five seconds to prove it's fake. We'll grab our chain here. Oh, wow. Look, look. When I click the chain on the fence post, it just places chain around like this. Oh, yes. Wow. Not 100% sure how they did this, but we're going to figure it out. So at first, I thought maybe it's commands. Maybe it's a texture pack. No, it's not any of the above. It's actually a mod using the fabric launcher. As you guys can see, boom. You got yourself these weird little chains you can carry. Yes, I know. I've got the Alex Stin and not the EY Stray skin, guys. I don't know. This mod just cooked my skin, guys. I just cannot use a skin with this mod. But boom, there we go. You can go ahead and attach chains between fence blocks just like you saw in the video. And you can actually go ahead and attach multiple chains up together. Honestly, I kind of wish uh, Mojang added this into the game because Loki, this does look really, really aesthetic, guys. I, I'm a fan. All right, well, we're going to trap Alex in here because this is not my Minecraft skin. This is an imposter. Just like this video is an imposter. So let's expose the more clickbait videos. Did you know that you can place grass on a dirt block? Just yes, like I did. But then if you shift and then place grass on a dirt block, it turns what? into a grass block. No. Follow for more cool Minecraft secrets. Wait, could this actually be real? Oh my, guys, I'm actually so excited. This might be real. If we go ahead and put down our two dirt blocks, so you place grass normally. Yep, that's fine. And now apparently if I shift and go ahead and place... Are you kidding me? Are you... Why did I even get my hopes up, guys? Oh my god! You know what? The other ones were annoying because they were clickbait, but this one even got me, and I will not let them get away with it. This took me hours and hours to figure out, but I refuse to let them get the better of me, guys, and I'm not going to let them get the better of you. So we're going to have one repeating command block here, which if we have a look at here, is an execute if entity at a scores crouch one, run execute, blah, 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 blah. You can copy it down if you want. Then above here, we have a chain command block. Did that chain... Did that just disappear on me? Okay, come on. Just put that command block down, and then we... Why does it keep disappearing on me, guys? Even the video, guys, the creators tried to stop me from exposing... How? Okay, can you just stay there? Can we just... Can, come on, stop glitching, game. 
Any day now. There we go. Okay, and we'll open this up. This one here has to be conditional, and it's got to have an execute at a anchored eyes run set block air. And then next to it, we're going to have another repeating command block, which, as you guys can see, is running a scoreboard, and it's resetting the scoreboard. And we need to, of course, add that scoreboard. So we're going to put this impulse command here, which adds a scoreboard for sneaking. And we're going to click that scoreboard. And once we hit that, guys, now we have a system that detects when I crouch. And when I crouch, it goes ahead and updates this command block here, allowing our grass thing to work. So if we go ahead, put it out grass. We can place it out grass normally. But then when we go ahead and crouch and we shift click, boom, you got yourself a some beautiful old grass all thanks to these very complex commands and I exposed them so I feel proud guys and I'm not gonna let you guys be fooled either Minecraft life hack uh-huh he's digging up the diamonds and what exactly is he doing wait he's digging up the lava blocks to get to the guys you can literally tell he's using a texture pack so first off you can already tell that he's using a texture pack in the video because the diamonds have a different texture. But the other thing is, is if you notice, there was no particles coming out of the lava. So now if I go ahead, and as you can see, I cannot dig up this lava. It's not something you can do. Even in survival, I switched into that. Look, the only thing I can do is walk into the lava and die. Okay, okay, Eddie, oh no, oh, oh this is awkward. Um, we're having some tall technical difficulties. What they actually did was use a texture pack. No, this is not the texture pack active. We basically just replaced the lapis lazuli blocks, guys, with lava texture. And if you watch that video again, the lava texture was not actually moving, and you can tell they just replaced the blocks. So let's activate the texture pack. Boom. It looks like lava, guys, but as you can see, the texture's not moving. And then just like in the video, we can dig this up. As you can see, absolute scamp, guys. It is not real whatsoever. Oh, wow. Look at me place lava blocks. Obviously fake. You cannot dig up lava, guys. Anyway, guys, for our next clickbait hack that we're going to be exposing, you're actually going to have to subscribe and watch the next video. Make sure to do that so you do not get fooled. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, it was your man. Bye.